What was your creepy, unexplainable story as a child? In the house I grew up in every night at around midnight these big loud footsteps would go stomping up and down the hallway a few times, I'd often think it was my dad getting up in the night so sometimes I would stick my head out in the hall to see him but there was no one there and I'd hear him snoring in his room. This isn't a particularly creepy story but it's just strange that everyone confirms they heard these footsteps and no one was ever that bothered by it, it's like it happened for as long as we could remember so we just accepted it. One time my brother, his friend, and I saw lights in the sky that darted around like UFOs. We went to get my mom and she was totally nonchalant about it. Yep, those are UFOs she said, and went back in the house. Her response was so subdued that we figured she was humoring us and they weren't actually UFOs. Years later I asked her about it and she said she had to force herself to act calmly because she was terrified. When I was a kid my family lived in a blue house that was oddly shaped. One year the house got completed gutted and nearly destroyed by a flood and they had to knock down a wall between the living room and kitchen. So after the flood, you could see all the way down the hall to my parents' bedroom door. This house is slash was. Strange for lack of a better term. I was a terrible sleeper as a kid and would routinely wake up and just go into the living room and watch cartoons on low volume if I couldn't go back to sleep. One morning I'm out in the living room sitting across the chair with my feet up on a window. Don't ask me why. I was a stupid 8 or 9 year old. From where the chair was, I could see just over the kitchen counter down that hall to my parents room. A movement caught my eye. I looked up and saw the shadowy outline of a man walking towards me, kind of near to my parents door. Thinking it was my dad I said something like, hey dad sorry if the TV was too loud, dad is a notoriously light sleeper and would wake up from anything. Except there was no response. Within seconds my foot ends up going through the window. Again not sure if this is related or I was a dumb kid, likely the latter, and I scream, and my parents actually wake up to figure out what's going on at 430 in the morning. At this point I'm preoccupied, but realize much later that I definitely saw the outline of a man, but there was no way it was my dad because a. He came bounding out of their bedroom after my scream and b. I realize the shoulders of that outline were much higher than what my dad's would have been. Not necessarily creepy, but when I was around 11 or so, my mom and I were going about 40 miles outside of town for a typical orthodontist appointment. The trip typically took about 35 minutes give or take a few for traffic, however this one time I kinda zoned out while being driven and upon arriving we remarked wow that was fast. We were earlier for my appointment than usual despite leaving at a consistent time for each appointment. Upon looking at our vehicle's clock, and confirming with a watch my mom had on. It had mysteriously taken us only 10 minutes to drive to drive the usual 35 minute distance. We have no recollection of anything happening during those 10 minutes, and it never happened again. But it left us with a very weird feeling. We still wonder what we drove through to this day. When my family went to the Georgian mountain region, we rented a cottage. Two bedrooms, so my brother and I took one and our dad took the other with his GF. I woke up in the middle of the night to three figures in the room, all standing in various places, none of which were visible from the entrance of the room. I woke my brother up and we screamed for our dad, but when he came into the room, he refused to look at the figures and just told us to hide under the covers. Wasn't exactly confirmed, but his refusal to look where they were standing after begging him was telling. Shit still scares my brother and I. I woke up one night when I was 12 because I dreamt that my older brother got into a car accident. I got out of bed and wandered downstairs to the kitchen to get something to drink. My mother was sitting there and asking me why I was awake. I told her had a bad dream and need something to drink. I got a glass of water when it ringed at our door. My mother went to look who is there in the middle of the night. Two police officers that asked if they could come inside for a moment. I couldn't hear what they were talking about because I was still in the kitchen and they were in the hallway. After the two officers left my mother came back to the kitchen completely pale and told me that I should go to bed now. I asked her what's wrong when she informed me that my brother was in a car accident and she needs to wake up my dad and go to the hospital now. When I pointed out, that this was the bad dream I had before waking up, she only looked at me for a couple of seconds. I prepared myself for comments like don't be silly and go to bed now but instead she said me too. So basically. We both had the same ducking dream of my brother having a car accident. And we both woke up minutes before the police came over to tell us it really happened. My brother survived with some minor injuries and we've seen the photos of the accident in the newspaper the next day. It looked 100% like in my dream. To the smallest detail. 
the way he lost control over the car, where it flipped the first time in the tree it came to a stop. In mom's seaside hometown, there was an offshore decommissioned lighthouse. Even though utilities to it had long been shut off and the lighthouse was locked, it would randomly light up, clearly visible in all directions. No one could explain it. It happened so infrequently and at odd hours of the night that by the time officials examined the structure, there were no signs of activity. To this day, as I've mentioned here once before, the lighthouse remains mysterious and a bit creepy. My grandmother was a real estate agent in Rhode Island. I was staying with her one summer and she had to take me along to see a potential listing. It was a very strange house because it was circular. All the rooms went along the outside and connected to each other and there was a center part with a little garden and open to the sky. She went up to the second story and I stayed downstairs because I wanted to walk around the loop one time. The problem started when I had walked a full loop and I didn't see the stairs. I thought I must be confused so I kept going to the next room and still couldn't find them. I started to panic so I began running around the house as fast as possible checking every room for stairs and there wasn't any. Finally, I sat down by the front door and started crying. A little while later my grandmother ran into the entryway room looking just as panicked as I had been and asking where I was hiding and why I was hiding it and not answering her calling out to me. I never heard her calling out to me at all. Actually, the house seemed so still and quiet while I was sitting there that I was sure she had forgotten and left me there. We went home and didn't talk about it really. Like 15 years later I brought it up to my mom and asked if she knew anything or was this a crazy childhood nightmare I'm remembering? She told me she remembered it clearly because my grandmother had called her and was absolutely spooked because she couldn't explain what had happened and she thought she lost me or I had been taken by someone while she was distracted. She had apparently been looking for me for a while. About five years ago my parents were sitting out on the back porch on a summer night. Out of the corner of her eye my mom saw a person-sized white translucent figure float by a tree. She asked my dad if he saw it too and he said yes. He is a tough guy but he was really freaked out and so was she so they both went inside. The next morning my mom was walking by the tree where they saw the figure and she noticed a very old looking earring sitting on top of the dirt. She doesn't wear earrings and it wasn't the kind of earring I would wear. It looked like it belonged to an old lady and it was just dropped there. My mom brought it inside and put it in her jewelry box. The next day it was sitting in the middle of the basement floor. From then on I started hearing footsteps and whispering in my room at least once a week until I moved out. We were driving with my then three-year-old son in the car, and stopped at a red light next to a cemetery. Out of nowhere, my son looked over at the cemetery and said there are people laying down there, and they can't get up. My wife asked my son what he was talking about and he pointed to the cemetery and said all of the people laying down in the park are stuck. My wife and I just looked at each other in silence completely freaked out. At this point in our son's life, there had been no deaths in the family and we had never discussed death with him. I'm still creeped out when I think about it. So I don't actually remember this but my mom told me about it. My grandfather died when I was a year old. Prior to his death, he loved to play with me and would make me laugh in this very specific way. The night he died, my mom heard me making noise. So she goes in assuming I'm crying but I'm not. I'm staring at the ceiling, laughing hysterically just like my grandfather used to make me laugh. She's still convinced he came to say goodbye to me. My mom said that I used to have premonitions when I was little, under the age of 10. My great aunt and great uncle were like grandparents to me and used to come visit in the summer from Mexico, to the US. I would miss them terribly then they would go. One year when they were leaving, I cried and cried. My mom said don't worry. They'll be back next year. I remember sobbing and throwing a small child fit. Apparently I said to my mom no you don't understand. Tio, great uncle, is never coming back. And she kept trying to reassure me they'd be back next year. I kept repeating he's never coming back. I didn't say anything about my great aunt. Sure enough, he passed away and never came back within a few weeks or months. My mom said it was really creepy and I also predicted my great aunt passing as well. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.